Hey, it's your man, and we're coming back for the first time on this new webcam. My old one went out on me a couple days ago. And just had it from the very beginning of my channel. So only, what, four months I've been doing videos, I think, maybe five. That's how long the damn camera lasted. So hopefully this one will last a little bit longer. Hopefully, you guys let me know if there looks like a difference in terms of the picture quality or sound quality between videos. But today, I received a package from... Uh, the Earl of RPGs from England, Royal Airmail, and man, it looks like somebody—it was somebody was rough on his package. <laughs> By the time it got there, man, it had all kinds of all kinds of stuff. But he—he's bubble wrapped it, so everything should be pretty good inside. At least we, we shall see. And uh, big thanks to you for that, Matthew. I do appreciate. It. Very cool of you to send this to me. And he sent this to me as a, as a thank you for helping him on his hunter game, which he said in Virginia, and I am a Virginian. Born and bred Southern boy, and we went over a lot of the details there with him. Help him, uh, perhaps more accurately portray 1970s Virginia and his hunter, the visual game, very disturbing game, all that horrible nasty details. That's on him. He's the sick freak. I was just giving him details about you know uh, the agriculture, the topography, the geography, the, these aspects of Virginia, and particularly in the rural area, law enforcement. Uh, biology, these sort of things, and he just twisted it and went really, really crazy, but uh, big thanks to you for this, that's very cool of you, and everyone, today, the 18th, and his time is not 18th anymore, but a big happy birthday also to Matthew, it is his birthday today, or at least in the equivalent time frame shift, but uh, these fires ahead of me, so it's before the morning frame right now. But anyway, happy birthday to you, Matthew. I know I put that on your channel. I know I said that to you, and I talked to him Friday on Skype. But happy birthday to you. And uh, this, the, the package, you get a little beat up. It's going to go ahead and get into here now, though. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I have to eat these, too, I believe, is the instruction. Bean boozled. Jelly. Oh, jelly bellies are good. Ooh, these might actually be very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we'll get to that. We'll get bean boozles. He's going to be a box of these. Very nice. A present here. And, uh, oh gosh, it's more than one book. Oh, wow, and there's more. Wow, dude, you really did yourself here. Thank you so much. Very cool of you. Uh, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Uh, Cinder Crunch Old Sweet Shop. Purveyor of the finest confectionery. Mr. Sin. That looks good, and I, I'm going to have to eat part of both of these, but we'll get to that in just a minute. No rush on any of this. And, uh, okay, well, let's see. We have, oh, sex and sorcery. <laughs> and why wouldn't it be? This is at a press? I don't know what this is. I've never heard of this before. The third supplement for sorcery. Oh, is this? Hmm. Wait, wait, let's look at this, actually. Sorry. There's this thing here. The Great War of uh, Magellan? Magellan? Oh, let's see. Role playing games in the ruin of Magellanic Clouds. Hmm. This looks interesting. Uh, yeah, let me see. That, but that's let me. I'll get to that one in a minute. Let me try to figure this out. Uh. Let's see, sex and sorcery. Bring your sorcerer game into the taboo realms of love, sexuality, gender, and betrayal. Let's see. Hmm. Matthew. Hmm. Uh, to do this one must be honest. Games don't roleplay. People do. Who are you and the members of your group? How do your own emotions and gender dynamics influence your art? This supplement rips the veil off of playing a sorcerer to bring the real person interaction positively into the content of play. Rules, expansion, and guidelines for establishing functional and appropriate levels of graphic content in a role-playing group. There's rules for that. I guess you roll 3d12. I don't know. Uh, using dice for fully realized play rather than our arbitrary scene stealers. Oh, very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. I'll, I will definitely take a look at this. So, I uh, had to put this in the X-rated uh, review column, I suppose. But let me, let me, let me put that one down for a minute. And he's, he's, he's really wrapped these well. So. Yeah, 
If you ever get anything from me, she will not look this nice. So that goes out to anyone out there. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a slob when I wrap things. <sighs> okay, let's, let's actually pull this out. Let's try to try to make tail. I've never even heard of this game, but let me try to, to, to show that to you. I'm probably mispronouncing it. I guess it's Magellan. Uh, the Great War of Magellan. Actually, sounds kind of cool. Richard Hatch, Sci-Fi Saga. Never heard of him or that. I guess this is based. Maybe, uh, gentlemen, you can uh, watch this and tell me what this is. This is based on some kind of uh, uh, a series of books or something. But oh, well, there's a there's a CD or DVD in here. R role playing game CD ROM, right there. That's cool. And it, uh, let's see. Let's take a quick look through this one, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna look in the other one. Uh, uh, before I show you any of those pictures, who knows what what deviant uh, lurks within that that thing? Uh, let's see here. And still to come, I, I will be eating that candy. Um, kind of blind here. Well, here you go. Here you go. The artwork in this book. And Matthew, let me know if you've ever played this, or anyone else out there if you ever played this. What what what, uh, what kind of deal this is? So this looks like a base book, which is good. Let's see here. Uh, player species, yeah, it's got player species in here. So this has uh, non-player species. This has to be a, a base book. So it's a 2006 title. Uh, character creation. There's, I guess, some of the things you could play in this game. And this, that's a. So I'm looking at that is a big book right there. Let me get the Sex and Zoltry book back up here and open that one up. It's very nicely wrapped. He did a really nice job with that. Uh, so, compliments to you on that. So let's open this up. And let's see if any of these pictures are appropriate. Oh, wow. That's weird. That is really weird. The first picture in the book. Let me just show you that, man. It's like a dude getting it on with like a, a wasp chick or something. Wow. I guess that gives us an idea of what we're going to be in store for in this action. Uh, can't show you that picture. Yeah, maybe I could. Let's see here. Real people, real play. And this basically just looks like it. I don't know if this actually has very much to do with the sorcerer game. I don't know if it has much in the way of mechanics in here. It looks like it's really more just a book about sex. So this is something that could probably be used quite easily with uh, any role playing game. And I do have the book of erotic fantasy, which my wife bought for me. It's quite a. Uh, Quite a well put together book. I'm gonna review that at some point. It's a three X line D and D book. Oh, there's one. Hmm. Some of these pictures, I don't know. Okay, well, it's too squeamish. I'm gonna put them up there. Sorry, I'm just looking at my A's head here as I'm flipping through this stuff. Uh, here, let's see. I have a little chart in here. You see the, the size of it. This is um. Hmm, I don't know. It's not. It's a little bigger than digest size, but it's uh, it's a little bigger than a typical. Well, it's a little bigger than the basic for Savage World anyway. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna start with these. Bean boozled. Okay. All right. Let's open this up. The plastic on jelly bellies we do have here. Although I've never seen Matthew, I've never seen Bean Boozled. Uh, yeah, but I've, I've seen something similar to this. Oh, they're all open. Usually uh, in America, this might be a whole different deal. But the ones I've seen like this, the jelly bellies, there's like a little plastic bag inside. These are all sort of loose in, inside here. Probably all the better for you to put anthrax in. Oh, hmm. That is the, you can see that there, the toothpaste flavored one I just put in my mouth. It actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> as odd as that sounds to say. Let's see, what do we have here? Mm, we have a, a red one. What is the red one? Strawberry jam. So this is the jam right here. Oh, wow. Matthew sent me a flavor called, yes. Get that far enough away. There, you can actually see it right there. It is called vomit. Um. Oh, I see. Very nice. 
Oh, very nice. They have a gimmick on these. Well, they have two that look the same to each other. And, uh, yeah, they're supposed to be, uh, like, I guess one's supposed to be good and one's supposed to be nasty. Like, they have toothpaste and blueberry, vomit and peach. I think vomit is a bit more extreme than uh, toothpaste. They have booger, rotten egg, moldy cheese, baby wipes. Oh, God. And uh, canned dog food and uh, centipede. I don't know what centipedes taste like. Wouldn't know what baby wipes taste like either. Well, I don't think I've ever had canned dog food, and I can't say I've ever eaten a booger, so quite a few of these. But anyway, I, I will, I will try, I'll try one more. I know this probably isn't the most <laughs> exciting video, but I did promise Matthew I'd go through this. This is either a vomit or a peach. Bottoms up, I guess, huh? Yep, I think I'm eating vomit right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, very funny, man. Very funny, right? And then this, we have uh, this here. I've already gone through the whole thing. The confections. Finger crunch. Oh. Uh, it's Belgian milk chocolate, so that's kind of cheating, isn't it? I mean, it's not really English. Is it? Send me some, like, blood pudding or something, right? Let's see. Now. Well, if I can get this open. Oops, that isn't gonna happen. Forgive me, I'm trying to open this up. Oh, here we go. Open this up uh, with without completely destroying the wrapping, because I I cannot eat all this at 11 o'clock at night. Oh hi. We got this stuff. I have never eaten anything like this before. It's um, it's like chocolate with uh, cinder crunch. I don't really know what that means. Well, let's try it, huh? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So, uh, Matthew, happy birthday again. Thanks for the package. Uh, it was my pleasure to help you out with the game. And any games like that are in the future, be happy to, you know, give you my two cents. And particularly if you want to send them in Virginia or Washington, D.C., where I've lived before. So, thanks a lot for the stuff, Matt. Very, very cool of you. Uh, absolutely uh, not necessary. And thanks for anyone that uh, bothered to watch this. <laughs>